so be prepared to be amazed. There's an historic announcement about AI coming down the line. There is a new AI model out there, and it's not just any model. We're talking about an OpenAI O1 killer. This AI is called DeepSeek R1, and it's rocking the world because it's been released free of charge and open source. Yeah, that's right. An AI capable of matching one of the most sophisticated models currently out there, available to all of us without cost. This is where the AI world comes aglow, and you're going to learn why DeepSeek R1 is the innovation that is sending the whole tech world flying. DeepSeek R1 has been thoroughly tested on all of the industry standard benchmarks, and the result is nothing short of outstanding. Comparing it with proven solutions such as OpenAI's O1, DeepSeek R1 is not only good, but often far superior. For example, in coding competitions such as Human Evil and MBPP, DeepSeek R1 is able to gain a clear lead because it is extremely intelligent in how it interprets and generates code. These aren't small incremental enhancements. We're talking huge gains in accuracy and efficiencies. But it isn't just about code. DeepSeek R1 also performs great on subjects such as maths, logic, and knowledge. On the math benchmark, which measures problem-solving skills in mathematics, DeepSeek R1 scores comparable to, and sometimes better than, O1. Just like on test scores such as GSM 8K, which tests grade school mathematics word problems, DeepSeek R1 always performs exceptionally well. Note that these criteria are intended to determine if a model can comprehend the abstract concepts, reason, and arrive at the correct answers. DeepSeek R1's good performance on all these different benchmarks is due to its architecture and advanced training technique. But the impressive work doesn't end with the full size. The most exciting part about DeepSeek R1 release is distilled versions. They are smaller and faster models trained through knowledge distillation from DeepSeek R1. What is incredible is that although these models are smaller, they still contain a large chunk of the original model's performance. There is, for instance, a diluted DeepSeek R1 version with 1.5 billion parameters. Just think, other models are tens or hundreds of billions of parameters complex. But on some maths benchmarks, this 1.5 billion parameter deconvolutional model beats models such as GPT-40 and Claude 3.5 Sonnet. This is transformative, as higher level reasoning can now be run on computers with a finite computational capacity, laptops, some mobile phones, etc. That creates a whole new arena of possibilities for running powerful AI models locally, without the need for persistent connectivity to the internet or costly cloud platforms. The creation of these parsed models is one of the most important milestones in making high-end AI available for the masses. Now, let's get into how DeepSeek R1 actually functions in the background. The model runs on transformer technology like other large language models, but with some unique twists. Among its notable properties, it has a proprietary training methodology with a three-step process including reinforcement learning and supervised fine-tuning. DeepSeek R1 has a novel reinforcement learning algorithm called GRPO that instead of relieving the model from its own outputs continuously makes it learn, improving its reasoning. This has proven to be very efficient, as DeepSeek R1 is able to run at maximum speed without massive amounts of human-labeled data. The second important thing is thinking in DeepSeek R1. By working with the model, you can even observe its reasoning process take place in real time. It's as if you have an internal monologue where the model outlines its logic line by line. For example, if you ask it to work out a problem that's tricky, it will describe how it's going to go about it, take into account different alternatives, and even reverse track if it hits a wall. This chain of thought process, normally hidden in the internal structure of the model, comes to light in DeepSeek R1, which gives you a good idea of how the model is drawing conclusions. This transparency not only makes the model's ability clearer to us, but also makes it much easier to notice and fix any problems with its reasoning. Also, DeepSeek R1 has been engineered for efficiency. It is based on a mixture of experts, MOE, framework that can be turned only on a subset of its parameters at each input, which saves on computations. And indeed, DeepSeek R1 is approximately 25 to 30 times cheaper per million input tokens than O1. This cost efficiency, along with distilled models, makes DeepSeek R1 appealing for applications from research to industry. It's also important to consider the open source nature of the model. In contrast to other high-end AI models, which are usually kept behind closed doors, DeepSeek R1 is open source, its weights, training code, and more are published. That is, everyone can download, exploit, and modify the model for their own benefit. Such openness and accessibility is the first of its kind in AI and could help drive innovation through collaboration and provide a platform for researchers and developers across the globe 
to extend DeepSeek R1's foundations. DeepSeek R1 is under an MIT license, so it's completely free to use for anything, including for profit. Even going one step further and they told me that you could train any model on this model output, that's okay, and a lot of companies don't do that. For instance, OpenAI's contract doesn't allow you to run another model using their output, though there are firms that do. That's technically legally prohibited by OpenAI. So, DeepSeek R1 is finally here and it is one of the best models of thinking out there. This is a fully open source system. You can download the model here. The template is there for you to do anything with. You can also make new distilled models, but they too made distilled models and released them. If you see the benchmarks, the models that are distilled from DeepSeq R1 are performing really well on a lot of different benchmarks. Take a look at this. So, if you see DeepSeq R1 distilled version of Quen, a 7 billion parameter model, it has scored 55.5 on AI2 Reasoning Challenge, ARC, 2024 Pass 1, just like one pass, not multiple passes, just one pass. This model is already beating Claude 3.5 Sonnet's score of 48.2. This is a claim that we have to verify in the long run, but it is quite impressive to see that they are proving that, okay, probably you can take some model like Quen 1.5 a 7 billion parameter model, use DeepSeq R1 as the teacher model, or use that to distill this model and then create a smaller version of the model. And that model is going to be outright better than a lot of these proprietary models. The model is really good with math and coding, tasks that require really long thinking. The DeepSeq R10 is basically taking the pre-trained DeepSeq V3 model without any of the post-training stuff and just running reinforcement learning on it. So, normally in traditional large language model training, people would do their pre-training, then do some kind of supervised fine-tuning, and then after that, they would do alignment training with reinforcement learning, RL. It could be RLHF, RLAF, or alternatives like DPO. The idea here is that they don't do that supervised fine-tuning step. What they do is they set it up so that the model will start to generate chains of thought by itself. This isn't totally surprising. If you think back to the original chain of thought paper, nowadays all models are trained on chain of thought. But originally they were trying to coax the chain of thought out of these models with things like saying, Think step by step. You'll notice that with models over the past six months, you didn't need to say think step by step. They'd been trained to do these chains of thought. What they've done is gone back to the old way of doing it, but to coax that chain of thought out, they've used this really interesting prompt template. DeepSeq R1 actually starts out with a very small amount of cold start data and has a multi-stage training pipeline. The idea here is that they start off just using that very small amount in the thousands of examples of cold start data to fine tune the DeepSeq V3 base model. Then, they go into reinforcement learning, RL, just like DeepSeq R10. Then, they go back to doing supervised fine tuning, SFT, with data that they basically created through rejection sampling on the RL checkpoint they've made at that point. And then after that, they finally go into another RL process, more akin to the traditional where people would do RL after SFT. They've released this whole family of models, which is really interesting. Now, one sad bit about this is they do talk about how, in the end, the direct distillation from DeepSeq R1 outperformed applying the RL itself on it. So, rather than use the RL for doing the small models, they actually just distill from 800,000 samples curated from DeepSeq R1 and then use that to fine-tune these smaller models. Even just taking the really long chains of thought out from DeepSeq R1 and using them for fine-tuning is able to get them to a set of these small distilled models. And remember, the smallest one here is 1.5 billion parameters. And you can see these are outperforming not only GPT-40 and Claude 3.5 Sonnet, but the bigger ones are even outperforming the O1 mini models. DeepSeq R1 is not just a new language model. It's a paradigm shift. Its impressive performance, coupled with its open source nature and innovative training techniques, is setting a new standard for the field. DeepSeq R1 isn't just about answering questions. It's about a whole new way of thinking. When you interact with it, you can see its thought process, almost like an internal dialogue. For instance, if you ask it to decode a cipher, it goes through a step-by-step -step reasoning process, comparing the encrypted and decrypted text, identifying patterns, and eventually arriving at the correct answer. It even questions itself and refines its approach along the way. This chain of thought process, scaled up and happening at inference time, is what makes DeepSeq R1 so powerful. It's not just spitting out answers, it's genuinely thinking through the problem. In one test, it was given a modified math problem with no solution. After extensive calculations and internal debate, it concluded that there were no integer solutions. 
demonstrating a remarkable ability to recognize when a problem is unsolvable. In another test involving a chemical equation, where carbon monoxide was mistakenly used instead of carbon dioxide, DeepSeq R1 recognized the error, questioned whether it was a typo, and ultimately solved the problem based on the correct assumption of carbon dioxide. This ability to identify and correct errors in the input is truly impressive. The model excels in various domains, including coding, mathematics, and logical reasoning. It can generate creative content, build websites, and even optimize articles for search engines. In tests, it has demonstrated the ability to create a functional Space Invaders game, build a cost calculator tool, and generate a well-optimized article based on SEO recommendations. When compared side-by-side -side with GPT-4, DeepSeq R1 often provides more detailed and insightful responses, even outperforming it in tasks like generating website code. The release of DeepSeq R1 is causing a major stir in the AI world, and it's easy to see why. The industry is reacting strongly, with top researchers like Dr. Jim Fan from NVIDIA praising it for keeping the original mission of open AI alive, truly open frontier research that empowers all. He even points out the irony that a non-US company is now championing this open approach. One of the most entertaining reactions comes from a user who highlights the fact that DeepSeq R1 is not only open source, but also spills all the training secrets. They're perhaps the first open source project to show major sustained growth of an RL flywheel, which means there was no human feedback in the loop during training. The biggest bottleneck in any system, a human, has been removed. It's a humorous take, suggesting that impact can be achieved not just through hype, but by simply dumping the raw algorithms and learning curves. People are excited about running this model locally. One user is determined to run AGI at home or die trying, planning to run the biggest version of DeepSeq R1 on his Mac Mini setup with a whopping 896 GB of unified memory. The affordability of DeepSeq R1 is another major talking point. One user jokingly points out that it's fully permissible, fully open source, and fully open weights, contrasting it with paid models and the high costs associated with them. Instead of paying hundreds or even thousands of dollars a month, you get a one-level reasoning for free, whether you run it locally or in the cloud. Even the distilled models, which are smaller and more efficient, are outperforming other non-thinking models on the market. One user from the Hugging Face team shared that the DeepSeq R1 distill, with just 1.5 billion parameters, outperforms GPT-40 and Claude 3.5 Sonnet on math benchmarks. This is a model you can run on nearly any modern computer. The implications of this are huge. Imagine being an engineer on a plane needing to code. You can just spin up your IDE, plug in an AI coding assistant, and run it with DeepSeq locally. Of course, you'll need a distilled or quantized version, but the potential is incredible. The model is already in the LM arena, where users can bring their toughest prompts and challenge it. According to benchmarks, it outperforms Claude 3.5 Sonnet, GPT-40, DeepSeq V3, O1 Mini, and O1 on most tasks. Ethan Mollick, a leading mind in AI, says that while it's not quite at the O1 Pro level, it's surprisingly capable, and the smallest versions can run on a laptop. This raises questions about the US versus China in the AI race. Some experts believe that Chinese labs will continue to be fast followers, quickly catching up to US models and then open sourcing them. The impressive performance of DeepSeek's distilled models means that very capable reasoners will proliferate widely and be runnable on local hardware far from the eyes of any top-down control regime. There's a call for more frontier open models to be released to the world, and questions about why OpenAI and Anthropic don't open source their older models. The founder of Stability AI, EMAD, suggests that the global economy needs a new framework in light of these advancements, even taking a jab at frontier labs that can't release their latest models because they can't beat DeepSeek. The CEO of Perplexity, Aravind Srinivas, notes that DeepSeek has largely replicated a one mini and open-sourced it, expressing a desire to see DeepSeek integrated into perplexity. It's near O1 levels and 90% cheaper than O1 mini, and 95% cheaper than O1. He predicts that we should fully expect an O3 level model that's open-sourced by the end of the year, maybe even mid-year. The founder of Continue, another AI coding assistant, points out that DeepSeek R1 gets 57% on their polyglot benchmarks, ranking second only to O1, and it's already available in LM Studio so you can download and run it locally right now. As intelligence gets cheaper, the market is expected to grow, not shrink. More use cases will become available as these prices drop. However, it's important to note that DeepSeek is a Chinese model, so it is censored. If you ask it about Taiwan or Tiananmen Square, 
It won't answer, but since it's open source and open weights, fine tuners can potentially remove that censorship. DeepSeek R1 represents a significant advancement in AI. It's a powerful open source reasoning model that's accessible, affordable, and capable of complex thought processes. While it has limitations, its open nature allows for community-driven improvements and adaptations. As we move forward, models like DeepSeek R1 are poised to revolutionize the way we interact with AI, opening up a world of possibilities for innovation and problem solving. The future of AI is bright, and it's open. And with models like DeepSeek R1 leading the way, we're just getting started on this exciting journey.